hey, it's the fourth week in Easter. We're going to look at the gospel lessons. And here's where they start to get weird because all of a sudden we get put into like this diatribe that hops all around about Jesus getting ready to go to the cross and talking to the disciples about how he's not going to be with them anymore. And it doesn't fit because Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. But here he's actually getting us ready for the ascension where he will ascend and we won't see him anymore. It's actually a gift that Jesus is getting the disciples ready for them to see him die on the cross and them to not see him for a little while and then a little while see him again. Because, well, we always try and comfort each other with the exact same thing, that, you know, a little while will be the comfort. One day, when you go to heaven, things will be better. One day, everything will be okay. I'm guilty of it, too. Um... I, I just forget sometimes how hollow it sounds to those in pain because time cannot comfort somebody, especially when they don't actually know the details of what's going on or the day that it's going to stop. So the disciples ask right away because they're not comforted by time either. What do you mean by a little while? When is that? And, and honestly, what about, what about now? Like how long do we have to suffer before help comes? And, and maybe just like, could we, could we not? Could we not hurt? See, telling somebody it will get better later doesn't actually make you feel any better, any more than telling somebody that dinner will be ready soon will make them any less hungry. It only highlights the problem. Things are not okay right now. A someday heaven isn't enough for today's tears. A God who will show up in a little while doesn't do anything to fix today's sins or pains or death. In the midst of suffering and addiction and pain, comfort isn't when God will be back if it's not right now. It's not even just where he is. Comfort is what he is doing there. The mother giving birth doesn't look forward to someday being without pain, but what is being done? New life is being brought into the world. That Jesus has to go away for a little while. It is what he is doing that will bring comfort. He is bearing the cross for them. He stands in the path of everything that we are afraid of, everything that hurts us, even everything that we have done to hurt each other. And he bears the weight of all of it, dies on the cross and rises from the dead. He ascends into heaven and has promised to come again on that last great day. A little while, you will see him again. Your sorrow will be turned to joy. But our comfort is not the someday. It's that even when God is out of sight, it does not mean he has abandoned you. And you can know, even if you're not sure what a little while means, where he is, what he is doing for you. He is even now forgiving your sins in word and sacrament. He is even now in the word, in the font, in the bread, in the wine, the body, in the blood for you, for the forgiveness of sins, so that even if you cannot see him quite this moment, you can know that your sorrow will be turned to joy. And even if you cannot see God right now, you can hear his promises and still receive his gifts. For even if you can't see him, he is even now working for your good. Thanks for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.